Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm gonna uh, share uh, my learnings from the launch of the Inner Source Local Community. Um, I'm Yuki Hattori, uh, Cloud Solution Architect at Microsoft and the founder and the organizer of Inner Source Common Japan Community. So actually I have three things to share with you in this session, but frankly there's only one thing I wanna talk about. It is difficult to change the company uh, if it's only from within. So it needs help from the outside. So I think a local community are, uh, can be one way for you to get that outside force on your own, actually. So I will talk about uh, how we are building that. There were um, three challenges when I tried to promote inner source in Japan. So uh, first one is build, bridging the gap between cultures, rules, and backgrounds. It's uh, actually, I think, good to find a solution with people who have similar cultural backgrounds, accounting systems, and law, et cetera. And second one is uh, promoting inner source to non-English speaking stakeholder. So actually, I think uh, inner source, the idea of inner source is based on open source, but people who participate in open source speaks uh, speak English in many cases. So many, however, uh, those who participate in inner source is not only uh, the native speaker. So it's, I think it's not sufficient for you to localize every time. And uh, creating an environment where inner source is a norm around those you wanna influence is also important and it's also challenges. So not many people in siloed organization want to be the first penguin. Promoting inner source is hard uh, because you may have the main job to do and you must be busy. And um, maybe you are a product manager or maybe software engineer or software engineer manager or OSP or person. But I think we have one common goal, uh, which is to break down organizational silos and promoting code reuse with little effort because you are busy. <laughs> so maybe we can work together with people who have similar cultural backgrounds. So this is the reason why I started the Inner Source Commons community in Japan. When I, when I started my community, uh, I did hearing, and then I asked what they need. I found three main needs, actually. Uh, first one is changing a silo, siloed company uh, from outside in. Uh, as I said that, uh, I heard that so many people want to use outside force, uh, such as inner source commons, and then they thought that inner source commons can be utilized for the purpose. And um, uh, best practices and template. And then important, uh, thing is the best practices for cultural context. And third one is uh, personal career growth with inner source. Well, actually, uh, many of us want to change the company, but at the same time, uh, they wish to make Japan a better place. I noticed that. They strongly want to change the culture of development in the region. Uh, Japan has a, a declining birth rate and aging population and a shrinking economy. So that's why it's very natural things to think to have the, such a purpose to join the community. So I made a mission for Japanese community. Actually, this mission is in the making. And if I were to say it now, uh, it would be like this, to revitalize Japan by changing the, the enterprise development culture through inner source. Yeah, actually, the, the current situation in Japan is very uh, bad. So we need to create an open culture, and we need to spread a culture uh, that makes it easier for a user company to produce engineering in-house. So many companies in Japan outsource engineering, and then outsource engineering, uh, the company outsource engineering, also outsource engineering, and then, and then, and then. It's like a construction industry. So because of that industry uh, structure, uh, the salary of engineers in Japan is uh, unbelievably low. So it's, uh, I, I assume that the engineers in the US got maybe double or triple, maybe sometimes quadruple. So we need to empower engineers to rate their status in Japan. 
but uh, in fact i didn't even try to start a community in the first place and then at the first it was just my personal activity and then i was very active in my output and uh, i met people who had passion in my region so maybe i came up with the idea to start a community but when i when it comes to start a community i have no idea uh, where to begin uh, my first contribution was in uh, source patterns. Uh, in my case, I translated the entire inner source pattern in about two weeks or so, because I had a client of mine who was trying to uh, adopt inner source in their teams. I thought it was necessary for uh, him. Uh, it was necessary to support him. And uh, after that, I also sent a pull request. I thought. Uh, I would be lucky if it was merged. I didn't expect it to be merged, actually. But I think I should have read contributing.md more since I sent a tremendous amount of change. But Sebastian, who uh, is a trusted committer of InnerSource uh, patterns and also board member of InnerSource Commons, was too nice and did a lot of onboarding for me. But it was uh, great for me. And I thought uh, there were so many passionate and sweet people is in the uh, inner source commons and then i was so happy that with that so after i did translation uh, i wanted to tell uh, about it so i had a seminar uh, i think uh, when you start uh, you, when you want to start evangelizing inner source in your region maybe my, uh, you should ask microsoft github or maybe gitlab people so they have a reason to promote inner source in your region I think. So you might, uh, yeah, as well ask them if you need help. So after I did uh, trans, uh, some session, uh, I wanted to tell about it. Uh, no, 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 uh, sorry about that. Um, after uh, more conversation with uh, stakeholders and uh, uh, passionate members of InnerSource, uh, I wanted to uh, talk more about uh, InnerSource in more depth. So we started creating the working group of inner source commons in Japan. And so I started to recruiting a lot of enterprise people for more for deeper conversation. So actually Japanese company has source a lot of engineering, but there are a lot of, a lot of good engineer in the, for instance, manufacturing industry. So they can uh, join and enjoy the the inner source. So actually, I uh, started so many things at the same time uh, in a few months. Uh, but I think you can start a very uh, in a very small step. Uh, you can start your community in very small step. Yeah, we now have uh, over fifty members, uh, passionate members, and contributor of inner source common Japan. And, uh, including the attendees of the event, uh, which is over uh, maybe hundreds of people uh, now know about what the inner source is. And we have three uh, working groups. Uh, first one is a JP General for a local community call and a JP Marketing for uh, inner source common seminar and a JP Content for a translation project of the inner source books. So this is most important one. We, we are trying to increase the number of trusted committer of uh, JP content repository on, the, on GitHub. We have done translation of uh, InnerSource patterns, InnerSource, uh, the book get, getting started with InnerSource. And then we are now in the process of translation of uh, understanding the InnerSource checklist. So finally, I, I'd like to share my lessons learned from the launch of the community. So if you want to start your own community, uh, it's good for you to be clear about your uh, community's mission. So uh, you need to focus on what your community wants to accomplish. So I, uh, after uh, running the community, I realized that InnerSource has so many stakeholders. Maybe some people uh, should be from the accounting or tax or maybe they're from manufacturing, maybe the layer of the people uh, we, you, you want to talk is very different uh, from the engineer to CXO. 
So to get the cooperation of many different kinds of people, uh, show them a purpose that is easy to share. And uh, I think the transparency and the openness is very important. So transparency and the openness build trust, I think. So uh, if you start just for your uh, business, it probably won't work. So if, you, if your activity stops, let someone else take over the community for you, uh, you started. So final one is, I think, the most important one. Uh, respect the upstream in a source commons. As I did that, uh, more collaboration provides more powerful support from ISC. So I could successfully uh, start in my community. And then my uh, mission is to continuously doing this activity in the future. Yep. And uh, local community should be a gateway to the global community. I would like to see more Japanese engineers and um, uh, Japanese people join the global community of inner source. So uh, there are three recommendations for you to start your community, or maybe go in, in a national, uh, in, in a nationalization project. Uh, first one is, uh, if you are uh, things to do in your company or in your team, it would be great to have a conversation with people uh, in a similar situation. So maybe work, a local working group works for you. And then, uh, like me, Inner Source Patterns uh, is a very uh, great resource uh, for uh, the people, those who want to start Inner Source or maybe to learn about Inner Source. And then there is a local uh, inner source learning path there, and inner source pattern can be the next. So, um, the last one is innersourcecommons.org, uh, internationalization support. I'm uh, actually this is uh, what I'm working on it. So, um, if you are interested in uh, inner source commons uh, internationalization support, uh, please let me know. Uh, I think uh, the innersource.common, uh, innersourcecommons.org uh, should be the uh, gateway for the beginner of InnerSource and uh, it's worth uh, translating it, yep. So this is the key takeaways. So local community can help change the company from outside the company. And then local community maximize the impact for you of your inner source activity inside the company maybe. And then it's easy for you to start your own local community. I think inner source is a journey of cultural change and you can change a siloed company from outside in. And I think it, work, it will work out maybe for you in the end. Yep, thank you.